All right. Welcome everyone. This is All I Math TV, and my name is Jakes Anemo. On this channel, we drop mathematical challenges every day. Why? Because mathematics is so important in our everyday life. We cannot do without mathematics. Okay? Even as far as to um, the old woman selling um, her goods in the market square, um, those that are literate and those that are illiterate, they need the knowledge of mathematics. To that end, we bring mathematics to you on a daily basis. No man survives the world of the business without having a good knowledge of mathematics because your business has to do with money, transaction of currency, and also figures. So you must know how to uh, manipulate figures, okay? And so, hence, this uh, channel, okay? Now, if you are new to this channel, kindly subscribe and turn on the bell notification button so that you get notified whenever we drop our wonderful videos like the one you're about to watch. Also, share with family and friends, members of your crew that need this mathematical uh, knowledge. Your shire, okay? So let's go to today's challenge. Yeah, the question says, x to the power of 12 plus x to the power of 8 minus 80 equal to 0. Then, find the real value of x. What will be the real value of x? Now, if you look at this equation this is a 12th degree polynomial equation okay and here we are to solve for 12 good roots but we are asked to solve for only the real root in this challenge okay i have a video on the 12th um, uh, degree polynomial equation and i solve for all the 12 roots okay the video is also showing up here now you can watch that video, okay? I took a lot of time to explain it bit by bit on how to get both the real root and the imaginary root to that 12 degree polynomial equation. But in this case, we have to solve for only the uh, real values of x. Now, without much waste of time, let's take down our selection. So here we have here, selection. Good. We put down our equation. The equation says your x to the power of 12 plus x to the power of 8 minus 8t equal to 0. Okay, very good. Now, if you look at this exponent here and this exponent here, we can rewrite them in a different form to have x here to a particular power, have this x to that same power. Okay, then if we go ahead to write this x to the power of 4 or to the power of 3 plus x to the power of 4 or to the power of your 2 minus 80 equal to 0. This has not changed anything. Okay, according to the law of indices, if we use this to multiply this, it will give us 12. The 2 times 4 will give us 8 here. Okay. The law says that if you have a to the power of m n, this is the same thing as a to the power of m bracket bracket n. So this is the law I just applied here now. So having this, if you use this to open up this, we're going to have this. Use this to open up this, we're going to have this. At this point, we can also say let u or p or q to be um, our x to the power of 4 because we are having s to the power of 4 here, s to the power of 4 here. Okay, so if we go by this, wherever we see x to the power of 4, we put down u there. So this equation cannot be written as our u to the power of 3 plus our u to the power of 2 minus 80 equal to 0. Now, this is another polynomial equation, but it's of uh, third degree polynomial. Now, we want to use um, the method of trial by error, okay? We want to use the trial by error method to get the first root to this uh, polynomial equation. Now, someone, a student, once asked me that, sir, how do we get uh, the figures to substitute into our equation to get the zeros of this equation? Now, what you do here is just to bring out this constant term, which is 
80. For instance, here I have my 80. Then what are the factors of 80? We have plus minus 1, plus minus 2, plus minus uh, 4, the plus minus 5, plus minus uh, 8, the da 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 da. Okay, so if you pick one of these, it will give us the first zeros to this equation. And so if we find our f, so our f of u automatically is going to give us here u to the power of 3 plus u squared minus 80. Okay, now if we substitute all these figures into this expression, then we're going to discover that f of 4, our f of 4, we give us zero but let's substitute and see if it will give us a zero so we have here four to the power of three plus four to the power of two minus 80. then four to the power of uh, three we give us uh, 64 plus four to the power of two we give us 16 minus 80. 64 plus 16 we give us 80. so we have this to be 80 the minus 80 and 80 minus 80 will give us zero so this shows that f of 4 is one of the uh, root or let's take that out the first root so from here let's continue on this other side so let's continue on this other side so let's continue on this other side and see what this gives us all right now we cannot write our equation we cannot write our equation here we have here u to the power of 3 plus u to the power of 2 then minus 80 is equal to yeah the first factor we've gotten x u minus 4 bracket the next one we don't know bracket and the next one the bracket okay so what will be in here we don't know we don't know so let's put in here plus minus plus minus whatever whatever there all right now at this point we want to use um the long division method of our polynomial to get the 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 second and the third root from there so using the long division okay we have this to be we have our dividend to be u to the power of 3 plus u to the power of 2. Now we don't have u to the power of 1. And so I'm going to introduce u to the power of 1, but the coefficient will be 0. Okay, 0 u to the power of um, 1, which is the same thing as 0. Minus 80. I'm introducing this so that during the addition and subtraction, we will not have issue with that. Now, the first root here we said is u minus 4. Okay. All right. Now, let's go ahead and divide. We use this u here to divide u to the power of 3. And u into u to the power of 3, we're going to have this to be u to the power of 2. Use this to multiply everything here. This will give us u to the power of 2. Sorry, 3. Then u to the power of 2 times minus 4 will give us minus 4u to the power of 2. Rule of this guy here and put this and this in bracket. We subtract. So when we subtract, yeah, we leave the system because u to the power of 3 minus u to the power of 3 will give us 0. Use this minus to multiply this minus. That gives us plus. So we are going to have u to the power of 2 plus 4u to the power of 2. Automatically, that will give us plus 5u to the power of 2. Bring the next term, which is plus 0u. So we have here plus 0u. Okay. Now, again, we proceed. We use this u to divide 5u to the power of 2. So this will give us plus 5u to the power of 1. We use this 5u to multiply everything here. This is going to give us here 5u to the power of 2 
This to multiply minus 4 will give us minus 20u. Okay, we rule off again. Put this in bracket, put this in bracket, and subtract. 5u to the power of 2 minus 5u to the power of 2. This, this will leave. Again, minus times minus will give us plus. So 0u plus 20u will give us here your 20u. Bring the last term, which is minus 80, down. We go again, use this u to divide this 20u. And so this to divide this will give us here plus 20. Okay, because u we cancel out u, we are left with 20. So use 20 to multiply everything in here. Here we're going to give us 20 u minus 20 times minus 4 will give us minus 80. We rule off again and carry out our subtraction. Then plus 20 u minus 20 u, this will give us 0. Then minus times minus will give us plus. And so minus 80 plus 80, that will give us 0. So at the point where we have 0, 0, we bring out our quotient now. So from here, we now have our equation to be u to the power of 3 plus u to the power of 2 minus 80 is equal to the first factor u minus 4, close bracket, bracket, bracket. Um, here we have u to the power of 2 plus 5u, the plus 20, close bracket, everything equal to 0. Very good. Now, automatically, we succumb to the uh, zero product rule. When we equate this to 0, we equate this to 0. Okay, so from here, when I have this to be, say, this now implies our u minus 4 equal to 0 or u to the power of 2 plus 5 u plus 20 equal to 0. Very easy. Yeah, this is a quadratic equation. On this other side, we can send minus 4 to this side to give us here u is equal to 4. We don't have problem with this. Okay? Let me erase this. We don't have problem with this. Let's solve this quadratically. But for us to solve this quadratically, mind you, we are asked to look for the real values of x. So let's check if this quadratic equation will give us a real value using the discriminant of factor. So let's proceed from here. Let's proceed. We pull down our equation, which is um, u to the power of 2 plus 5u plus 20 equal to zero. We want to check. And using the discriminant factor, which is, um, this implies our square root of b squared minus 4ac. From here, our a is the coefficient of this. So we have a is equal to 1, the b is equal to 5, and c is equal to 20. So let's substitute this into this formula. From this, we're going to have your square root of b is 5 squared minus 4 into a is 1 and c is 20. Okay, so if we multiply this, we now give us yeah, 25 minus 4 times 1 times 20, we give us 80. Okay, now you discover that if we subtract um, 80 from 25, this will give us minus 5, 5. And of course, if we go ahead to do the, this, we give us 5, 5, i. This, of course, will give us imaginary root, and we don't need that. So the only real root we're going to get from uh, this place now is where we have our u to be uh, 4, okay? So let's bring out our real value. So for real values, we now have our u equal to 4. But if you recall, at the beginning, we don't have u in the system. So we now bring in where we said, let u be something else. So from here, we say recur that we said u equal to your x to the power of 4. Good. 
So wherever we see u, let's put in 4 there. So this now implies that our x to the power of 4 equal to u is equal to 4. Okay, so this will now give us x to the power of 4 equal to 4. What we do here, we take the fourth root of both sides. Okay, so let's continue on this side of the equation, of the board rather. So if we take the, um, the fourth root of both sides, we're going to have this to be x to the power of 4 or to the fourth root equal to our 4 to fourth root. Okay, so with this, this fourth root will take care of this fourth power. And so we have our x is equal to your 4 to the power of 1 all over 4. Automatically, this is the answer. This is the answer to the 12th uh, degree polynomial equation. But let's check if this answer is correct. Okay, so let's check. From here, we'll say check. Let's check. X to the power of 12 plus X to the power of 8 minus 80 equal to 0. Okay. Yeah, this our X will sort to be 4 to the power of uh, 1 all over 4. So we have here 4 to the power of 1 all over 4 all to the power of uh, 12 plus 4 to the power of 1 all over 4 all to the power of 12 minus 80 equal to. Now, according to the law of indices, we can use this power to multiply this power. And so if we do that, here, we go to have here 4 year 1 and 4 year 3. The 4 year 1 and 4 year, we're going to have, um, uh, sorry, <laughs> here is 8, please. Here is to the power of 8. Okay. The 4 year, we have two okay so let's open up this we are left with four to the power of uh, three plus here we have four to the power of two minus 80 equal to zero yeah four to the power of three will give us uh, 64 so we have 64 the plus four to the power of two will give us uh, 16 minus 80 equal to zero 64 plus 16 will give us 80, then minus 80 equal to 0. The 80 minus 80 will give us 0 equal to 0. So this shows that the answer, the uh, uh, real root to this polynomial equation is correct. If you have learned something from this video so far, give the video a thumbs up and share with your family, members, your friends, your children, your nephews, people around you, your neighbors, your crew, your co-workers that need this knowledge of mathematics, your businessmen, okay, businesswomen, your business associates that need this knowledge of mathematics. Again, this is Online Maths TV, and my name is Jigs Anemo. If you are new to this channel, do not forget to subscribe because we are always proud of you because a time is coming where we reward our subscribers, okay? Though we be little for now, the time is coming will be great. Remember, Jake's loves you. And all of us at All I Mass TV love you so much. Do you know why we love you? Because you are always there. Till I come your way again. Bye for now. Love you.